for the honor um, of having me spend the evening with you. Congratulations to the Asia class of 2019. I know all of you are excited today. Um, you have worked so hard uh, to get to this day. Not only did you work a full-time job, maybe even a second, uh, you took care of your families and, in addition, made it to class every week and studied for your Johnny Level certification. By now, you should have discovered what you're made of. You definitely earned it. So, congratulations. So, you are actually going to shape our industry's future with your knowledge and uh, you will be the ones passing it on to the next generation, as I'm doing it now as an AJAC, AJAC instructor. I know you're going to make a difference in our profession. So I completed an apprenticeship myself, back in Germany, where I'm from. Um, I went through a three-year program that taught me machining, welding, sheet metal fabric fabrication, you name it. I still remember the first six months of the program as it was yesterday. I had a couple of files and several blocks of steel on my workbench. And so my task was uh, to make those parts to spec. And the phrase was, uh, eben winklich parallel auf Mars. So that is still burned into my brain because this is what I did for six months. Um, what it means, is flat, perpendicular, parallel to size. So I had to file different metals for six months, flat, perpendicular, parallel to size. <laughs> it was brutal, it was brutal, but uh, I don't want to miss it. It taught me patience, focus, precision, and most importantly, a feel for the metal. Think about your past years going through this program. I bet you had similar moments uh, when you questioned yourself, what am I doing here? This is hard. But you stuck with it, and today we are here to celebrate your accomplishments. What did my apprenticeship um, do for me? It taught me to set goals, to be focused, precise, and accountable. Your companies are trusting you with their equipment worth half a million dollars or even more, and you now have the knowledge to run it. How awesome is that? I got confidence out of my apprenticeship. The confidence that I can reach my goals and I can follow my dreams. I set other goals and accomplished them, one after the other, just doing baby steps, one at a time, with the finish line in sight. The journey level certification was just the beginning of my career. I was approached by the director of my apprenticeship program, close to my graduation. He asked me if I've ever considered going to college. No. No one in my family has graduated from college at that time. I was totally happy where I was. Uh, the journey level certification guaranteed me a solid job with a good income. But then, the seed was planted. The conversation with the director of my apprenticeship program was one of the major milestones of my professional career. I kept going and earned my engineering degree and later here in the US, my MBA. My role shifted over the years, but I'm still manufacturing. I'm behind the desk now, uh, but I'm still pretty close to, to the shop floor. I think this is what makes my career pretty unique. Um, I started on the shop floor, moved to engineering, and now to management. I speak all those three languages. I speak shop, I speak engineering, and I speak management. Being able to connect the dots among those fields gives me the advantage of removing roadblocks 
and show the bigger picture within the organization. Is this the right way for you? That is for you to decide, but it's out there and if you want it, you can go and grab it. So why AJAC for me? My first contact with AJAC was in 2012 uh, at an aerospace conference here in Seattle. I got introduced to the program and immediately loved it. I was so spoiled with uh, the apprenticeship in Germany and always wondered how regular on-the-job training could provide uh, the same level of trade knowledge here in the U.S. So needless to say, I signed up a couple of my employees and I'm so super proud that Clay is here tonight and I didn't even know, so I'm very excited. And Nick, I haven't spotted him yet, so I don't know. Um, not only did the employees learn aspects of the industry I couldn't provide as their employer, but also invested in my staff to further their careers. Three years ago, then, I took a step further and became an instructor for AJEC. And it has been such a rewarding experience for me. Seeing you going through the program makes me extremely proud. It is now my turn to provide the younger generation with the building blocks for their future development. I'd like to support you while you are planting your seeds. Did, yeah, we all just watched the, the class of 2019 video um, that AJ also posted on, on uh, social media. When I, when I uh, saw it two days ago, I got goosebumps when Ebony said she will be the first woman in her organization who completes the program. So where are you, Ebony? She was in my uh, technical drawing class. So let me talk a little about women in manufacturing, um, how it was for me 30 years ago when I was 10, right? Um, <laughs> uh, I was supported all the way. I can truly say that I have never encountered a situation where I was talked down or rejected because of my gender. I certainly was one of few or even the only woman in class, in college, or in executive meetings. But it didn't matter. I was accepted because of my experience and not my gender. Our attitude plays a big role in how we are perceived. Look at Ebony. Who could say no to her? She's so full of ambition, ready to change the world. So she definitely has a right attitude. You go, girl. Yeah. So my advice for women getting into manufacturing, um, you have to be your own role model. Don't shy away from, from something just because there are no other women in their role or space. If we are brave enough to go for it and make ourselves visible, then we create a path for others to follow. My advice for employers is to recruit more women, make it interesting, help those young girls to see what the industry has to offer and show them what it means to be a machinist or a mechanic or a welder. Let them decide what path to take. And uh, the women of earlier generations created the path in the manufacturing arena. Now the employers need to put the signs out to make sure the women of the younger generation can find the trailhead. My advice for the graduates, don't settle into your comfort zone. Nothing great happens in the comfort zone. You know that saying? Step out of it because nothing grows there. It is scary, but the more often you step out of it, the easier it gets and the further it takes you. So don't settle until you found what really drives you. So I would like to thank AJEC for giving me the opportunity to pass on my experience and uh, 
to have this wonderful time uh, with you and see you graduate tonight. Thank you.